aboard Star White. I hope you enjoyed the previous video. Uh, this short video is just about our nav station and our electrical panel. We relocated our electrical panel when we rebuilt the boat. Uh, we find that uh, the original position is awkward. The new position works very, very well for us. Hopefully this explanation will uh, work well for others. Thanks. During the years that we've owned Star White, we've completely replaced the electrical system. All of the wiring has been removed and replaced. Batteries, panels, and obviously electronic instruments have also been replaced. The original West Sail 28 plan had the electrical panel mounted in the back of this locker at the settee. Perfectly functional. However, the back of the electrical panel was then exposed to the engine room and it was also exposed to any outgassing from the batteries, which was not necessarily good for the panel. When we were refitting the boat, we removed the panel from here and we relocated it over here to the nav station. The process was relatively simple. We were required to build out an area and shorten the lid on the chart table slightly. We moved everything over here to the chart table. We installed new electrical panels made by Blue Seas. We also added a DC panel. The electrical panel that we have now has significantly more breakers on it, which allows us to divide systems up a little bit more and we still have a couple as you can see over on the far right there that we're not even using but it's nice to have them there. This box that the electrical panels are mounted on extends about six inches in from the side of the hull. In order to accommodate this it was necessary for us to shorten the length of the chart table. We also additionally moved the hinging on the chart table Normally on the West Sail 28, the chart table is hinged on the forward edge. Ours is now hinged on the outboard edge. Uh, this was done for one very specific reason. When we open the lid now, it opens almost 24 inches. When you open the lid in the old layout with the hinge at the front, because of the overhead here, the maximum opening you could attain was about 12 to 14 inches. Yes, it was adequate, but it was awkward. Now we have lots of room. We can easily see what's going on in there. Within the chart table we of course have the obliga obligatory stack of charts. Typically for us here in the Puget Sound area that's around 25 charts when you have the San Juan and Gulf Islands including Puget Sound. We've got binoculars, we've got miscellaneous, we've got all of the electrical cords and charging things. We've got a small holder that I produced just to hold our documentation and registration papers. The lid has a support that holds it open and obviously allows it to close. Additionally at the chart table we have our VHF radio, both our base station and a handheld unit. And we have a rack over here or in this case, uh, we've got uh, current charts mounted. The little mesh you see there holds the ship's logbook. And uh, we have installed lighting underneath the deck here so that we have a nice bright area to work from. Now, the factory boats also had a drawer mounted here. If you've got a factory boat and you've got the drawer, that obviously takes up some room inside the chart table. And uh, you might have to do a slightly different layout than what we've done here. But it's a case of you know, whatever works for you. Here's what the chart table looks like from the aft corner. You can see where we've angled it in there to allow the step to swing into place. You can see here how the second step that's mounted to the door clears the chart table. And what we did is we angled the corner of the chart table to allow this to happen. We certainly could have left the chart table square, but had we done that, the door would have been limited in how far it could have swung. This way it swings all the way out, giving complete access. We've put a little cup hook on here to hold it in place. 
it's a simple process it works quite well here below the chart table is an area that I like to refer to as my chandlery this uh, little space down here has been quite valuable I keep an assortment of fasteners electrical connectors and sealant down in here uh, it's just a good spot down low convenient and space that normally wouldn't be of much value for anything else.